It's time for the House Sparks Mega Worldwide Lightning Round, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. I'm glad you could be here. Um, these next little bits are just that. They're little, they're little, uh, little bowls of niblets. They're the, it's a Whitman sampler of idiocy from this dude. Um, he cranked out a bunch of these little shorty things. 29 seconds, 51 seconds, 50 seconds, 26 seconds, 56 seconds. He was tired of trying to get through a whole three-minute take. I will, you will notice... <clears throat> Um, that, uh, that this one's there twice. There's a shorter version and a longer version. Uh, this one's just once, I think, short. Be sanctimonious. There you go. Leading in the polls, nation decline. Banks are starting to collapse. Uh, get the $6 trillion back that Mitch McConnell gave to Biden. I don't know, whatever the fuck. We must pull out of the unfair Eric. Oh, dear God, he doesn't want his son anymore. Uh, nobody did more for farmers. China. Okay, so he's doing snippets from his speech, essentially, in these little segments so that they, they make these little tweetables, <laughs> truthables. And uh, he did get, even on Rumble, he got four thumbs down. He's about to get five, I think. Um, but these are, and uh, I will, can I... Can I know, can we all notice that they all have the same thumbnail face? So they're doing this on purpose. Right? Look at this. This is not, well, I, I take it back. We could find out that he actually does start with his fucked up face in this, in this one situation, in the exact same pose. He has that squinch. Right? The farm one is hilarious. I, try, I will find out. Here we go. Our enemies are desperate to stop us because oh, they know he quiet? that we are the only ones who can stop them, and they know <laughs> are our enemies. Shit, hold on, and and I've got. Let me. Call, I gotta see if the is the audio in here. Yeah, here we go. Um, our enemies are desperate to stop us because they so know desperate that we are the only ones who can stop them, and they know it very strong. They know it. Oh, they wish I could stop them. They want to stop them like that. And they're looking at the polls where, not me, but we are up by so much. They can't. Yes, we. You're really voting for MAGA. It's not that I'm going to win this election. It's that you're going to win this election. I even believe it. We won twice, and now we've got to win a third time. They know that we can defeat them. They know that we will defeat them. I don't know who he's talking about at this point. Do you? Is it Russia? Is it China? Is it Iran? Is it Kim Jong-un? Is it the deep state? Is it Democrats? Is it Joe Biden? But they're not coming after me. They're coming after you. Oh, okay. It's uh, Letitia James. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was mistaken. I thought this was about our, when he said our enemies, I was like, oh, uh, this must be a uh, foreign policy statement. This is actually just his legal troubles. These aren't my legal troubles. These are your legal troubles. Look, you're the one who said grab him by the pussy. You're the one who ejaculated off all over E. Jean Carroll's dress like a fucking pig. That's you. You did that. You. All right. You. I didn't lie to the banks about my properties being worth more than they were or, or to the IRS about that. That's something you did, okay? And if I go to jail, you go to jail, okay? This is how this works. I'm just standing in their way. <laughs> I'm sure people try to get around you. I, I agree. And I always will. <laughs> yes, you will always be in the way. Yes, an unconstructive uh, obstacle in, in life's great travels. Stand in their way. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so glad. <laughs> if, if you're doing poorly, don't send anything. If you're doing well, text Trump to this number. If you're doing poorly. Okay, first of all, the asshole is stealing my gig. This is aggravating. I'm the one who says, like, if you if you can't afford to help out the show, don't even feel stressed about it. Please don't. But if you can, please help out. That's, I, you know what? I'm just glad they're watching. All right, here we go. Like the, you know, thumbs up, all that kind of stuff. Look, the Cash App thing's still fucked up. I'll have to fix that. I don't know why that's it. That's very wonky. Why are you, why are you like that little Cash Appy thing? I don't know. I'm going to, hold on. I'm going to stretch this down. Whoop. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. A boop. Perhaps. Sure. Hey, now it works. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> oh, by the way, um, if I may, 
Um, I have to scroll back some. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Oh, yes. Todd, thank you so much. Um, and Sarah, thank you very much. And who did I miss? There's somebody. Oh, it's still there. We go. Oh, it's, it's, okay, we're good. So uh, those were the last couple, and I just wanted to make it for uh, the the Cash App and Venmo. It rotates through. If you use one or the other, I think it should technically. I don't know. All right, here we go. So let's continue. Um, this is he did another version of this, which is longer. I don't know if it's longer credits. Our enemies. These four horrible radical left Democrat investigations. Of I see. So that's he shaved that part off the other one. So to just go straight to enemies because his bitching about being under indictment for his criminal activities isn't isn't playing well in the heartland. Of, you, it's doing very well in the colon land. Your all time favorite president, me, is just a continuation of the most disgusting witch hunt in the history of our country. It's gone on forever. With I would I would. I got to say, as far as disgusting witch, hunt, witch hunts go, I'm going to go with the one where they burned women. <laughs> Just, I don't, you know, maybe as somebody who likes women and respects them, perhaps I'm biased in this situation, but I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, having read The Crucible in middle school, I'm, I'm going to go with the worst witch hunt in the country was the actual witch hunt. Just, I don't know that anybody agree with me on that one. You think pretty much as as far as they chart, this is like him going, no president has ever been treated as badly as your favorite president, Donald Trump, it, even including the ones that were shot in the head. I honestly, <laughs> the one who died three days later after being shot, he was, they at least gave him soup. This is bullshit. Russia, 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 Russia. And Ukraine, 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 and the mul again. I, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. I know he's supposed to be a master of these things, but I, I just think it's ass. It's the Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine shit. Or hoax. It's an absolute disgrace. What's going on? They even spied on my campaign. Oh my God! This is just. This is just, this is needle drops. And remember this, with all of the work that they did on Mueller, no collusion. No, that's what Barr said, and you hate that fucking that's guy. That's what the answer was. No, it wasn't. It was all no collusion. No, it wasn't. Whether it's the Mar-a-Lago raid or the unselect committee hoax, the perfect Georgia phone call, it was absolutely perfect. It was so perfect. I said everything you're supposed to say that gets the crime done without saying the thing that gets you in trouble for trying to get the crime done. God damn it. Or the stormy horse face Daniel. Jesus Christ, asshole. Like, look. The, the idea that this dude gets to criticize anybody's looks. <laughs> This, this guy does realize that he would never have been sexually involved with anybody on par with the women that he's had as wives or as mistresses or as side pieces or at the fucking Epstein parties if he hadn't been born rich and, and relatively famous. The... Uh, Dude, dial it the fuck back. Especially when you, I mean, you're rocking the nut right now. Extortion plot. Extortion plot. It was an extortion plot. She was going to talk about what happened. And I had to pay her to keep quiet, which was my idea. <laughs> but. They're all sick. And it's fake news. Our They're all sick, and it's fake news. There's sick, sick people. Sick, sick. Our enemies are desperate to stop us because they know that we are the only ones who can stop them, and they know we. Yes, the know it very strongly. They know it's so over the Russia, Russia. And they're looking at the polls where not me, but we. Okay, yeah. So that we the top of this 
they cut off the whole Stormy Horseface Daniels stuff. That They basically started this right about here. That's the other video. They're like, eh, even for you, that's a bit much. And he's like, leave it. I love it. Okay. Um, we must, here he goes. Uh, this is the next, this is a new, we must take back the White House. Um, that is not going to happen. Our country is under attack by the fake news media, crime, and an invasion at our southern border like nobody has ever seen before. I blame the wall. We must take back the White House in 2024 and make America great again. It's going to happen. We have no choice. Thank we have no choice. I don't want to do it, but thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We've got to take it. They're just We're just doing blurbs today. I'm just blurbing. Can I just say for the record, like, it looks like they're slicing these into the little salami slices because he looks like a fucking mess. This is bad. This is really bad. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole... <laughs> We've got to take back the White House immediately in 2024 or we're all doomed and it's all over. This is desanctimonious voted to destroy Social Security. Oh boy! Oh, and there's a picture of him. I think I kind of for oh, president taking on uh, the president times. himself. Hey, Why Sean Hannity start? here. Hey, click here to hey, subscribe hey, to playing. Fox News YouTube page Shut and up. catch our hottest interview. I don't want the. I don't. But get out of here. Stop. I don't know why that started playing automatically. Here we go. Back up. We missed. I'm sorry, Mr. President. You were uh, signing something in front of a picture. What a fucking poser. Jesus. Ron De Sanctimonious. <laughs> De Sanctimonious. I, uh, does anybody know what the fuck he intends to mean with that? De Sanctimonious? The, uh, like, of the sanctimonious people? and Or he's not sanctimonious? He's de -sanctim sanctifying things? It's like Trump. He can automatically declassify any classy joint he walks into. Voted three times to cut and destroy Social Security. Along with every other Republican, which you supported. And increase the age requirement to at least 70 years old. Likewise, he voted to radically cut Medicare. And remember, he is a disciple of Rhino Paul Ryan. What can you expect? Yeah, it's all, what do you expect? He's going to destroy Social Security. And so when I run, I've got to defend the fact that I, as a Republican, aren't going to change anything about it. And no one's going to believe me. And Republicans who hate it anyways aren't going to, are going to be all mad. And please keep talking. And to go a little bit further, he reminds me very much of a guy named Mitt Romney. <laughs> To go, yeah, not only is he as bad as Paul Ryan, he's as bad as a guy I like to call Mitt Romney. N Mittens O'Romney. That's O'Romnable. What else has to be said? <laughs> what else has to be said? Nothing. Well, I mean, that's not fair. You do have to keep talking because unless you post these videos, the... Federal Election Commission will know that this is just a phony money grab and not a real campaign. That's where he comes from, and that's where he'll go. <laughs> Utah? <laughs> Utah. Vote Trump. We're going to make America great again. <laughs> I'm convinced. I don't know about you. I, you know, that's what we need right now is really ballsy, in-your-face, loud, not, a, not afraid to speak the truth. And I don't know if you know about a little guy named Mitt Romney. Remind you of anybody? I thought so. Mitt Romney lost the last time he ran, and I lost the last time I ran. Shit, who wrote this? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Like somebody's like, fuck, we're gonna have to listen to this shit for the next 18 months. It's gonna get sillier. Polls show me doing substantially better against hopeless Joe Biden. 
than Ron de Sanctimonious oh, do, do, do. would do. In fact, he doesn't even come close to winning. I like what he has to throw. He has to throw in because the jabs aren't jabby enough. Like De Sanctimonious sounded like a dud in his own head, and you know, and so he had to go. He hasn't even come close to it. Like he had to throw in that extra shit because my initial I don't know, I don't know. Russia, Russia, Russia. An early forerunner would be the 2020 election, where I did much better than in 2016. <laughs> yes, and Joe Biden curb stomped your campaign horribly and the, and the first time you ran you lost the popular vote and nobody's going to make that mistake again even even it, like if hillary clinton ran again against joe biden managed to get it she's gonna win against him i got news for you nobody's gonna go ah, i don't know let's give it a shot nobody's Nobody's in give it a shot mood with this fuckhead anymore. DeSantis has a much stronger chance, and this asshole is going to eat him alive. Getting more votes than any sitting president in the history of our country. Yeah, that's because there are more people than ever, and people were home and voted by mail largely. There were more voters engaged, which is what the Republican Party is trying to stop, and which you fucked up in 2022 by telling everybody to not trust the elections. That election, however was rigged. That's the good thing about the Republicans. They're the party of personal responsibility. They used the China virus, the FBI Twitter, and ballot stuff. The FBI Twitter? <laughs> FBI is on Twitter. I don't, I don't know that that changed any votes, though. In order to cheat. Good Republicans won't let that happen again. Yeah, but the obviously the rhinos will. And that's most of them. You've said so. I don't, I, I'm just saying. So you just gotta, you know, be careful. We cannot let it happen again. <laughs> we cannot let it happen again. Um, that's when my friend Andy realized that it was going to happen again. Um, you're watching Hell Sparks Mega Worldwide. We're, we're, we're just needle dropping at uh, Trump's rumble. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh, this is going to be a good one. We're just making little tiny ones. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's one of the big hits. Nation in Decline. I love this one. It's, you know, it's got a catchy chorus. And um, I, I think he samples Slayer in it. Nation in Decline. Here we go. Oh, boy. I mean, I don't even know how he could film this with the, you know, the power going in and out. And, and obviously just, you know, it's a, a, a outside of Mar-a-Lago. He had to build a bigger wall outside of Mar-a-Lago because it's, I mean, it's a hellscape down there. The United States is in a period of great national decline. Okay. A period of it. How long is it? About two weeks. But fear not, we will make America great again. It oh, good. Thank God. I was worried at one point. We're going to Magoo. Don't worry, everybody. We're going to Magoo. Magoo. Make America great over and over. Magoo. It will happen. We're going to totally do it. We're doing it. <laughs> I wasn't able to do it. The four years I was the leader of the free world and the most powerful politician on the planet. I just couldn't figure it out. I was busy golfing and, and screaming at my wife for making blood Christmas trees. But I've got it. I've figured it out. Magoo. <laughs> we are a nation in decline. So we're a nation in decline, I hear you saying. Is that, is that, a, am I, is that a theme or? <laughs> Say it again. I don't think the people in the cheap seats are hearing it. But we will make America great again. Thank you. <laughs> All right. That's it. That's the whole thing. 
I'm convinced. Uh, we're, we are a nation in decline. It's true. Well, we have declining unemployment. So there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This one's... This, some, you know, some of this stuff is evergreen, but some of it is hot off the presses. Um, and this would be one of those. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Donald Trump uh, hit at, here at House Parks Mega Worldwide. Banks are starting to collapse. Oh, the banks are starting to collapse and I got no money in my hat. Gotta go on the road once again and shack up with my kin. It's a MAGA weekend. Cousin fucking, cousin fucking as I'm trucking down the road. <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. That was wrong. <laughs> um, all right. So this is banks. Banks are starting to collapse. Uh, are you Joe? Yes. Are you Joe Banks? Yes. Magalaka! All right. <laughs> the banks, I don't know if you've seen this. And by the way, one of the banks he got a lot of his money from, Signature Bank, which got into deep shit, they're now going to get the records because it's been seized. So they don't even need a subpoena. I wonder if he... He's going to point out that like Democrats are crashing these banks just so they can get the records of his loans without having to subpoena them. When does that shit start up? And by the way, can I just say for the record, I am wearing a green shirt. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, for, for <laughs> the background and the color of the thing, my, it's just kind of a wash. All right, here we go. This is it. Banks are starting to collapse. With what is happening to wait a minute, our wait, 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 wait. That was super quiet. But what happened? With what? Oh, they, uh, they forgot to cut the audio off the top of that. I wish it was louder. But it, listen quietly. What is he saying? With what? Uh, something. Take. We're November. We're ready to roll. Something like that. What is this? With what? Nope. Somebody just going in the background. Um, quality production there at. Uh, at, at at the Trump campaign, just uh, I, who do you think it was? Stephen Miller, somebody down there. Yeah, there's somebody in the background going before the, he said pudding. I think so. With what is happening to our economy, and with the <laughs> proposals being made on the largest and dumbest tax increase in the history of the USA. <laughs> he forgot where he was for a second. The largest and dumbest tax increase is dumb. I've always heard you never run on tax increases, and here they are bragging about it. The kidney. Hmm. Times five. I figure times five. Maybe. <laughs> It's not enough to just say it's the dumbest tax rise in history, but tax increase in history. He has to say times five. I think it's times five. But the next time he talks about this shit, it's going to be times 10. He just can't not. Motherfucker. <laughs> with what is happening to our economy and with the proposals being made on the largest and dumbest tax increase in the history of the USA. Times five. I figure times five. Maybe more than that. Joe Biden will go down and... <laughs> I think maybe more than five times that. It's like five times dumb. <laughs> it's the, you know, dumb times dumb five, uh, squared. Herbert Hoover of the modern age. You know. uh, 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 by the way, because people have referenced him being the Herbert Hoover of the modern age. And that's, yeah. Who Herbert Hoover is, right? <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> he was a president. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Herbert Hoover is. Oh, God. 
<laughs> this is, oh God. Uh, it's like when somebody's like drunk and kind of picking an argument with you in a bar. Yeah, this is the dumbest bar I've ever been to time five. Okay, yeah, yeah. This place is some place Herbert Hoover wouldn't even walk into. You know who Herbert Hoover is, don't you? Yeah, let me tell you a thing or two by a thing or two. <sighs> Times five, maybe more than that. Joe Biden will go down as the Herbert Hoover of the modern age. You know who Herbert Hoover is, right? We may have a great... <laughs> no, who is he? Please, go on. Why? <laughs> Somebody had to tell him who Herbert Hoover was. That's what happened. That's the uh, that is the the origin story of that line. Somebody mentioned Herbert Hoover and Trump knew the name because it was old. He's the guy who made the dam, right? And they're like, no, Hoover is. The they were Hoovervilles, and the, like people had to uh, like live in the shanties because of he fucked up the economy, and that, that's how they. Oh, you know who Herbert Hoover is? Great Depression, you? far bigger and more powerful. Than even that of 1929. Huh. It's good. It's coming. It's good. But don't pull your money out, according to Glenn Beck. <laughs> As proof, the banks are already starting to collapse. We cannot allow a depression to happen. Okay. Whew. Thank goodness. I, I like, what are we going to do to stop it? How do we, obviously, it, I mean, they're already collapsing. And and Biden obviously thinks just like Hoover, you know, you know who he is, right? So uh, how do it's here? You can't be president for two more years. What? What? How do we? Please tell us how we're going to fix this. There is no reason for this. We cannot allow it to happen. Thank you. But <laughs> That's it. There's, there's, yes, you're right. There is no reason for a depression. So I guess uh, problem solved. <laughs> uh, you're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide. Like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, support the show. It's lightning round. It's 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 little trumplets. We're doing little trumplets today. Um, and uh, it's just because he, he had to punch a bunch of these together just to stave off the FEC investigation into his money grab, especially since people just found out that uh, that Truth Social got an inflow of money from Russia through its SPAC. And um, and that's that came out, so he had to flood the zone with a bunch of videos. Like, quick, make a bunch of videos so they're talking about, I'll just say a bunch of shit. And here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this one's called Get the Six Trillion Back. Put the candle back that Mitch McConnell gave to Democrats. I, how, this, the, what, get this, Mitch McConnell gave Democrats six trillion dollars. Did he now? Well, golly, <laughs> I guess he means because only uh, Democrats uh, have uh, electric vehicles, and so the charging stations it'll build, and they only they're the only people who drive across bridges, and they the only people who use the internet and airports, and oh god! All right, he just gave it was just a slush fund, six trillion dollars slush fund. By the way, <clears throat> if Biden created a, was able to get a $6 trillion slush fund for Democrats out of Mitch McConnell, the man should be king of America. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where's mine? The Republicans in Congress ought to demand the $6 trillion that Mitch McConnell gave to the Democrats and demand that it get back. Put it. Yeah, get back. Get back to where you once belong. That it should get back? Get back, JoJo? What? The Republicans in Congress ought to demand the $6 trillion that Mitch McConnell gave to the Democrats and demand that it get back. Put it back. Put it back in our treasury. 
put it, get it back, put the, get the, put the, put the get, uh, step away from those suitcases. Get, uh, all right, back into the treasury, six trillion dollars, you get back, what are you doing? I don't know, I thought we were allowed, no you're not, where are you going with that? You can't even break a ten thousand dollar bill. You're gonna take suitcases full of them out. Of, well, I can't carry them, and you make it smaller denominations. I was asking if they had. I was asking for that. You know that trillion dollar coin? It'd be so much easier. Just print one, and I put it in my pocket. It would have been way easier. But I, I've made seven trips. I'm exhausted. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all this. I thought about maybe you know since we did, I was, I was gonna buy Elon Musk. I'm pretty sure he's for sale. It's all Green New Deal and things that nobody wants. <laughs> it's all Green New Deal and things nobody wants. Yeah, we already we already spent it. I'm sorry. We it's yeah, it was it was it was that kind of green. They smoked it. Causes massive inflation, but demand it back before they even think about the debt ceiling vote. Demand it. Give us six trillion back from all the infrastructure spending. What are you gonna do? Go door to door and demand extended UI from COVID uh, back from poor people? That he, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that because he probably would. <laughs> he probably think we could do that. No, you cannot. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants clean air. Oh God, this is. <laughs> You give us the six trillion back, then you can raise the debt ceiling. And since the debt ceiling only needs to be raised a trillion dollars, giving us one back is not enough where you don't have to raise it. Give us the six back and then... <clears throat> Wait a minute. I signed off on that six trillion dollars. All right. A great way to cut spending, much of it wasted on so many things that we don't want. You mean like Green New Deal stuff that nobody wants? That was it. I, okay, that one, that one today, I think that one's, that one wins in just the kind of like absolutely nucking futz category. That's just crazy. I don't even know why you would post that. <laughs> That's just sad and dumb. Yeah, wasted on poor people. Yeah, screw the children. Just why you know you get you need the uh, the sheriff from the Robin Hood Disney cartoon just walking around snatching money out of like nickels out of the the church's bucket and shit like that. What the hell? This is, I don't know what this is. We must pull out of the unfair Eric. Fucking Eric. He just hates Eric, so he just wants to say this. Whew. You're watching House Parks Mega Worldwide. I feel like I have to do... These are shorter than normal, so uh, smash the like. Venmo and, and Super Chat. Or, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Venmo, Super Chat, subscriptions, all that kind of stuff. Patreon.com slash House Parks. And by the way, we had a new Patreon person just as the show was starting. And by the way, GMB, thank you so much for Chud and Hal's great uh, show. Thank you. Happy St. Patty's Day to you as well. Um, and Patricia, but before that, let me scroll back because I set this up so I can see more of them now. Where was it? There it is. Um, oh, T-Dub. Oh my gosh. For that, uh, uh, that super chat earlier today, this morning, I really appreciate it. I didn't get a chance to say anything about that. So thank you so much. Would love to see your talent live in, live in Kansas City someday. It's going to happen, Larry. Appreciate it. Um, where is it? I, there was somebody that became a new patron. It's in there somewhere. I'm going to have to dig it up. It's later. Rats. Sorry, it's farther down in the list, and it's going to aggravate me. Um, oh, there it is. Sean F., thank you so much for becoming a Patreon supporter. Really sweet of you. I think they did the annual version for the whole year. I At least I hope, because it was a significant amount, and I, I feel like you shouldn't have to do that monthly. If you did, I wouldn't mind, but you don't have to. Um, and by the way, we've we've got a bunch of, like, um, because we, we have $5 tiers and 10 and 20 and 50, whatever. But the, the people who do the, like, who sometimes will pick their own and do like a dollar and stuff. I just want to say thank you to those folks. I know you can't do as much as the other folks or we're putting your toe into the whole thing. I appreciate it. Just saying. There you go. All right. Um, now this one, we must pull out of the unfair Eric. He's, <laughs> this is him, I guess, regretting to pull, uh, not pulling out when, 
when Eric was conceived? We'll see. All Republican governors should immediately pull out of Eric. <laughs> I, I had no idea there was a Republican governor gangbang going on of Eric. The terrible voter registration system that pumps up the rolls for Democrats and does absolutely nothing to clean up those rolls. Yeah, um, you, you do realize dead people can't vote. I mean, beyond the fact that you think they do is one thing or that people vote using dead people, but actual dead people can't vote. Like, and if somebody's caught voting on behalf of someone dead, like, I don't know, like the guy who voted for you after killing his wife and pretending she was just missing, he used her ballot to vote for you. Like that guy, you, you go to jail. It's a fool's game for Republicans. It cannot be overstated just how bad Eric truly is. Well, then tell us. You got 20 more seconds-ish. Explain to us what's the real problem with Eric besides he's probably Gary Busey's. I'm not going to lie. Republican governors who keep participating should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, but for a lot of other reasons, I uh, participate. Yes, anybody, any Republican governor who treats Eric that way and doesn't pull out, or at least, <laughs> no. How do you not, how do you not, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> I almost said it, I almost <laughs> said it. You can't win with this system. No, you can't. Ask Eric. And while these governors are at it, go to same-day voting, all paper ballots, and voter ID. That's voter identification. Oh, see, I I didn't know. I thought that you wanted to vote using that channel. It's an offshoot of discovery. Our problems on elections have just been solved. <laughs> well, great. They've just been solved. Got it. Fixed. Done. Thank you. Thank you. You don't need to do it. And by the way, that is the fucked up face. That's the end. That like crossbite thing. Like, mm, that sucked, but whatever. That like face he holds. I think he does default to that face at the beginning of these things. He might. This might be an individual picture every single time. But uh, but I do agree with him. Uh, Republican governors, whatever you're doing to Eric, you should pull out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's coke jaw it totally is nobody did more for farmers uh i did more for farmers than republican governors did to eric i'm sorry this is just gonna go on all fucking day isn't it nobody in history did more for the farmers of our country than i did <laughs> yeah these lazy no good ungrateful assholes i got them 28 billion with a b 28 billion dollars from china because the tariffs were wiping them out and a lot of them ended up selling their properties to giant agribusiness because of that very thing and those big agribusinesses got the 28 billion dollars not these like little farmers that's why the iowa farmers when you were like how many got the money and they're like three of them were like i kind of got a part of a thing but they, and everybody else was like not me based on how they were unfairly treated before me by the chinese government they were treated very very badly people couldn't believe it nobody's going to win with the farmers but donald j trump i got him 28 billion jesus christ nobody's gonna win with the farmers don't vote for anybody but i got them 28 billion the simoleons they were treated very very badly <laughs> Shit. people couldn't believe it nobody's going to win with the farmers but donald j trump i got him 28 billion dollars i saved ethanol and i made farmers happy and rich again yes so i don't know what they're bitching about right now i God, Jesus Christ. And they're doing this, a fantastic job. They're doing so good, even though our country is in decline and it's all going to shit. And and you know what? What? Someday it'll become time for them to leave this beautiful earth and they'll be able to leave their farm without taxes to their children. 
I got rid of the death tax on farms. <laughs> I got <laughs> farmers. You did a great job, but I'm sorry. You got to die. But when you die, you, you can give your kids your farm because of exemptions that have existed for decades. So that when you do pass away. And I hate to bring it up twice. It's like the nuclear word. You're not supposed to say it, but you're going to die. And it's probably because you're poor and you live in, you work, you do too much activity. You know, you only have so many heartbeats. Way, on the assumption that you love your children. On the assumption that you love your children. Mm-hmm. You can leave it to them and they won't have to pay tax. But if you don't love your children so much, and there are some people that don't, and maybe deservedly so. Jesus Christ, maybe your kid is a piece of shit. Maybe they just don't like farming like you wanted them to. Maybe they're like, you know, they just want to leave and fuck off. So maybe they're just a cokehead. Maybe, they, maybe like you like your daughter a little too much. But your sons, you could kind of take your leave. Like if there were wolves at the door and you're like, we can only get to the car once they've filled their bellies and they're sleeping. Maybe you're looking at two of your sons and you're thinking, well, you could flip a coin because I don't particularly like either of you. Uh, you guys just draw straws amongst each other and then let yourselves out. I'll be upstairs with your sister. And you might find yourself. <laughs> what an asshole. What? You can leave it to them and they won't have to pay tax. But if you don't love your children so much, and there are some people that don't, and maybe deservedly so, it won't matter. Because you'll be dead. And who gives a shit? <laughs> but don't get me started on Eric. Because the, what the Republican governors did with him is disgusting. And yet, as long as they leave me alone. Because frankly, you don't have to leave them anything. Thank you very much. Have fun. <laughs> Frank, what? What? <laughs> frankly, you don't have to leave them anything. You're dead. You can just leave it to me. Just send, send me your farm. Have fun dying. <laughs> Have fun filling out your new will, sucker. You, but because, but you better vote for me. Have fun dying. What the hell? <laughs> On the assumption that you love your children, you can leave it to them and they won't have to pay tax. But if you don't love your children so much, and there are some people that don't, and maybe deservedly so, it won't matter. Because frankly, <laughs> You'll be dead. You don't have to leave him anything. Thank you very much. Have fun. <laughs> I, honest to God, I think he bailed out on that one and they posted it anyways. He was like, have fun. That You can't do that one. That was ass. I don't know what I was thinking about. Have fun. What am I fucking thinking? Whatever. They're like, no, boss, it's great. Everything you say is gold. These fucking people love you. All right, post it. <laughs> have fun. Dying and leaving your shitty kids nothing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a, oh. Some of you hate your children. I know how you feel. Some of you want to have sex with your children. I also know how you feel. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because you're going to be dead. Have fun dying and being dead. <laughs> <laughs> there are people online right now including the 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 actor dude i got into the dust up uh with uh, the other day who's all full he's full on like gun, he's into the anti-vax and the, the communism that are coming for you and he's like all in on all the talking points that think that is is basically saying like you're gonna cry when this guy's president again and i'm like B b laughing because <laughs> you think they're like th this illusion that they have that people are wheeling biden around and and having to talk to him like grandpa and it's ageism and blah blah and he can't think straight and yada yada it's that's definitely the case with this dude and here comes this is a new one this one china 
must be held accountable. It's the name of this short little ditty. Uh, China must be held accountable. They cost us so much. Thank you. Too much. Six trillion dollars. And I stopped it, but I wouldn't have stopped it. And then I did stop it. It's mine. Three years ago, I declared that the China virus almost certainly came from the Wuhan lab. <laughs> I declare. Three years ago, I declared that the it, it came from the, most certainly came from the Wuhan lab. Yes. After you had finished your first phase of your trade deal and you were telling us that China had gotten it, you know, it all right. And then you sold them all of our beef, pork, corn and soybeans. And then midway through the summer, you're like, wait, they're not signing on the second part of this. Oh, fuck these guys. And I got I'm, what do you mean? Zelensky's not going to start a fake investigation for me. I hate everybody. <laughs> Now the world is finally admitting the truth, and they're saying I was right. No, they're not. Because if they did that, they would have to say that you were right, that she was handling it very professionally, and you trusted them, and the it would go away with, when, with the spring, uh, with the sunshine would kill it, and the light bulb up the ass and some bleach down your gullet, and you'll be just fine. The cover-up of COVID-19's origins is one of the greatest scandals in the history of the world. Yes, and it happened during your presidency, you sap. The greatest scandal is COVID itself, however. So in this case, the crime is, uh, the cover-up is, is not worse than the crime. Yeah. Millions of people all over the planet have died from the China virus. Which is just like the flu, if you listen to Jimmy Dore and uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., it's really no big deal. It's just a bunch of people with comorbidities and old people. Who gives a shit? Even, you know, unless you're old and have comorbidities. But. Now it's time to hold China and the corrupt forces who have facilitated this colossal suppression of facts accountable. That's right. You got to hold them accountable. The people who told you that China was doing a very professional job and that they were talking to Xi Jinping and they said it, they were they had a great handle on it and that we would have very few cases and it would be gone in the spring with the heat and all that kind of those people need to go to prison. They shit for the damage they have inflicted upon the world and all humanity. Yes, the world and all humanity. You know, it's kind of hard to never mind. We have to do something about it. Yeah, what would that be? There has to be some form of retribution. I see, retribution. There has to be retribution. Uh, um, hmm. uh, especially against people who told us it would be fine when it wasn't and blew it off for months. I mean, that crowd? And there will be some form of retribution. Okay, well, good. As long as there's going to be some form of retribution. I know that there has to be, but I was worried that there wouldn't be, but there will be. There's going to be some form of retribution. What do you think? What do you think? Um, a worm pestilence? Too late. It's already happened. Um, lightning strikes? Um, uh, you know, uncontrollable bowels? That's right. It is, it's a fart pestilence. China cannot pay for the damage they've caused. They can't? Oh, well, then I guess uh, there can't be any retribution. If they can't pay, I guess what? We've got to break their knees, I suppose, right? We got, jolly. I mean, they can't pay. Well, it's, it's, you got to give me something. Otherwise, I can't go back empty-handed because Jolly's not going to hear of it. I mean, I'm just trying, I'm trying to do you a favor, right? Because he told me over game over, he told me to break your thumbs. I don't want to break your thumbs because you got big nostrils and that's how you pick your nose. And I'm worried about you. So why don't you give me what you got and we'll see what you got. All right. China, he keeps misreading these fucking sentences and inverting what they say. Some form of retribution. And there will be some form of retribution. China cannot pay for the damage they've caused. It's more than $50 trillion. All right, so what do we, they just owe us, sir? Um, oh, thanks so much. Hold on, somebody, uh, the this super chat guy right here, I saw that. Why is that hidden behind there? I got to fix this. I got to move this over here. Thank you. Um, Because I wasn't able to read that. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. There it is. DC2257. Thank you so much. And they don't have anything. Thank you, Stacy. Even close to that. But something has to be done. And it will. 
Oh, and uh, Stacy Thompson says, uh, I'm slightly stunned he said that about how people feel about their children. I don't know why knowing how he is. Ha yeah, it's it's shocking when it actually happens. When you see him say shit like this in the wild, you're like, nobody talks like that. And you're like, there he is talking like that. It's weird. It should be shocking. You should be going, who the fuck? There has to be some form of retribution. Yes, fire and brimstone coming down from the sky. 40 years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes, the dead rising from the grave. Er, yeah. And there will be some form of retribution. China cannot pay for the damage they've caused. It's more than $50 trillion, and they don't have anything even close to that. <laughs> well, I mean, if we, I don't know, put the whole country in hock, I, I mean, there's got to be. <clears throat> but something has to be done. So what are you suggesting? We sell their children? And, and it will be done. Uh, okay. Jesus, that's it. There, there has to be some kind of retribution. There will be some kind of rest retribution. Obviously, China can't afford the debt, so we're going to have to do something. I, honestly, like, that's like the... That's like Jeb Bush working as an enforcer for the mob. I, I'm not going to say what has to happen, but, you know, at some point we're going to have to get, I don't know, you know, I might, he says, you know, if you don't pay up, we got to break your legs, but, uh, you know, I, but please clap. Uh, this is rough. This is so rough. There's so many of these things too. Hold on. Uh, here you go. Look, but you know, they say folks, I am house Sparks. Welcome to house Sparks mega worldwide. If you're watching this as a clip, um, they say that, uh, even, you know, a broken clock is right twice a day and, and that even the most, um, you know, vicious enemies in the world can find common ground on sometimes the, you know, the small things in life. And maybe this is one of those, uh, times. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Donald John Trump saying Trump was right about TikTok. Let's see. So, uh, if you don't know, uh, TikTok is malware. And it's gross, and you shouldn't let your children anywhere near it because it's designed to harm them. Now, <clears throat> I've been saying this for a long time. Uh, there's a bunch of right-wingers who say it. There's a bunch of people, um, a bunch of Democrats who know this as well. It's pretty universally bipartisan at this point, but everybody was giving it the benefit of the doubt for a while and just kind of like shrugging it off as another social media platform. But let's see what he, he's just going to claim that he was right about it the whole time, and then we'll see. Has anybody noticed that everyone wants to go after and destroy TikTok? TikTok. 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 Everybody wants to go after and destroy TikTok. Not everybody. I'm for it. Due to China influence and national security? Due to China influence and national security. Yes. Is that why? Uh, it could also be that it is uh, harmful to the mental health of children and young people. When I wanted to disable TikTok three years ago, I was met with opposition from rhinos, Democrats, and everyone else. They actually went to court in an effort to stop me. Now they realize I was right of change their tune. And right of change their tune. By the way, hold on one second. Let's look at the um, the TikTok part of this. TikTok, uh, Trump, China. Um, Trump era ban on Twitter dropped by Joe Biden. Yeah, this is the BBC one. Biden using TikTok to escape a distract from family life in China. Um, this is, yeah, here it is. This is the, this is in August of 2020. So the, uh, so the idea, by the way, that this asshole was like on it from the very beginning is a bunch of bullshit. He started doing this because he was pissed at China. He was like signing on to this. This uh, fuck, okay. President Trump on Thursday in August of 2020 uh, invoked his emergency economic powers to impose broad sanctions against TikTok, a move that steps up pressure on the Chinese-owned app to sell its U.S. assets to an American company. In the order, which takes effect in 45 days, and if you don't elect me, I'm going to take it off because 
Fuck you. Um, any transaction between TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, and the U.S. citizens will be outlawed for national security reasons. In practice, experts told NPR the order likely will mean the viral video service could no longer receive advertising from American companies, and the app could be removed from Apple and Google's app stores. For more than 100 million Americans who have downloaded TikTok, experts say the app may no longer be uh, sent software updates, blah, blah, blah. When we talk about sanctions against Russian oligarchs and kleptocrats, well, the sanctions are, are that no American can do business with them. Um, same thing as they're talking about this. Okay, in defense of... Uh, in a statement, TikTok says it is shocked by the executive order claiming Trump administration paid no attention to facts, dictated terms of agreement without going through standard legal processes and tried to insert itself into negotiations between private businesses. Uh, added, uh, TikTok added the order sets a dangerous precedent for the concept of free expression and open markets. Um, yeah, it's a, your foreign company. The idea is that you're, if you have a satellite U.S. company that that is under the rules of a foreign company or a country, not the United States, then you're you can this kind of shit can happen to you um in the order the white house says tiktok captures vast swaths of information again this happened in august of 2020 when he was already pissed at china this was just him attacking china everybody else was like tiktok's pretty fucking dangerous and he was like no it's fine i talked to she it's all lovely and then he starts getting mad at china and that's where he really goes sadly after i've been right about everything i've been right about everything and you know, Except the whole light bulb up your ass and the bleach thing. You know what? The Democrats what? know it. The radical left knows it. The communists and the Marxists within our own country know it. Well, I mean, obviously, they can read. They want to turn our country into a communist country. Really? How would they go about doing that? Marxist country. Which one? Communist or Marxist? Because, I mean, there is a mild difference between the two. Obviously, Marx believe that uh, socialism built on the back of capitalism would lead to a, a communist structure, but wasn't necessarily all in on that part of it. And he had some choice words about Jews and black people that most people find uncomfortable. So I, I don't know which form you're expecting to, uh, we'll see. They want to turn our country into something that we're not going to let them have. We're not. We're, all right. Words are sometimes difficult. Not going to let them do it. Nope, you're not. Okay, all right. Well, then I guess we won't even try. I've, guys, pack it up. Um, yeah, Marxism has been called off. We're not doing socialism and communism. I'm sorry. Um, we were gonna, but you heard him. They can't let it happen, and so it's not gonna let it happen. Yeah. But we were right on so many fronts. Uh huh. And we're gonna be right again because we're gonna make America great again. We're going to make America great over and over. Magoo! Um, uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, my, that was gibberish. I agree. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, is this another variation on this? Trump's been right about everything. Do you think they sliced off a piece of this one and made this one? It's only 31 seconds. Let's see. Lately, there's a statement that's been out there all over the place. Lately, people are saying that Trump was right about everything. It's a hashtag, Trump was right about everything. I'm good with the branding. It's a quote from a lot of people. It's a quote from a lot of people. Uh huh. It said, Trump's been right about everything. And if you think about it. Uh, I have, and that's not even close to true. I really have. No, you really haven't. Not, not at all. Um, can, may I, can I provide you with a couple of examples? Um, let's see. How about, and this will, you know, obviously I can't grab all, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, here's, here's we one. use political hacks to make deals with China. And then we lose almost $500 billion a year with China. And we want to know what's wrong with us. Well, it's a, that's a trade deficit because we buy a lot of cheap shit from there and we upsell it and make money off of it without making it ourselves. So there's obviously going to be a trade deficit because we're not selling it back to them because if they could afford it, they wouldn't be the place that makes it cheaply. Dumb, dumb. What's wrong? What's wrong with us is we have people that don't know what they're doing, making deals with some of the smartest people in the world. They use their smartest, toughest, meanest people.
They use their smartest, toughest, meanest people to do deals. We use dumb people. We use hacks. I've done a lot of business with China. Uh-huh. I think China's great. Uh-huh. I've done great. I've made a lot of money with China. Have you now? Interesting. How so? I have their bank. The biggest bank in the world from China is my tenant. I sell uh -huh. condos. I have the Bank of America building in San Francisco, another big building in Manhattan that I got through China. Oh, you got that building th through China, did you? I mean, China's great. Yeah, there you go. China's great. But I don't hold it against China. I hold it against the stupidity of our leadership to allow China to get away with this. Yes, why doesn't China turn us into their factory so that they can buy cheap goods from us and upsell them to their people that can't afford it? China, like, literally has as many people below international poverty standards in their country as there are human beings in the United States, including tourists, illegal immigrants, and, uh, and people who just woke up here for, after being rendered. And then on top of it all, to show the lack of respect they have for our country, they go into the South China Sea, and they're building one of the great fortresses of the world. One of the great fortresses of the world. Oh, are they now? For landing airplanes, for docking their ships. Yes, yeah. I mean, you basically, where you can dock a ship wherever you can land an airplane. They're military ships. Oh, military ships. I, I understand. Okay. And Because you can't build a big military fortress if you're letting fishing boats park there, obviously. Yet they're making a fortune with us. They take our money. They take our jobs. Think of this. They take our money. Mm -hmm. They take our jobs, and we owe them $1.6 trillion. It's like, how does that happen? It's because they buy bonds, because our money is safer than theirs. Um, like, hold on, for, let me go one, one even further than that, if I might. Uh, she, COVID, this is good. Um, this one, uh, let's see. I spoke with President Xi. We had a great talk. He's working very hard, I have to say. He's working very, very hard. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you can count on the reports coming out of China, that spread has gone down quite a mm -hmm. bit. Uh, the infection seems to have gone down over the last two days. Oh, by the way, uh, this is from the Chinese state media, by the way. This is them playing clips of him on Chinese state media. Prince on Wednesday put his second-in-command, Mike Pence, in charge of the response to the looming global health crisis. He told people in the U.S. that the risk from the coronavirus remains, quote, very low. His comments come as public... Yes, uh, that turned out to be, um, what was the phrase? Wrong. Trump was right about everything. I've been... It's my honor to do it, but we have to do something about it. We have to save our country. Thank you very much. That's it. Just people are saying I was right about everything, and I totally was, and it's my honor to do it, and I, I was right about all this stuff, and it was great. And hold on one second. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I was right about everything. I want everything. <laughs> Trump still wants negative interest rates. But says Fed chair has improved. You know how oil, they were, at one point during the crash of COVID, that people wanted, uh, you know, that you would have, you'd have to pay people to take the oil off your hands. That's what he wanted with the U.S. dollar because he knew he was driving the debt up really high. So he wanted to drive down the worth of that debt, basically make it so that no one else in the world would, with any brains would would invest in the United States. So your bonds internationally would be worth shit. We would just have to buy our own for nothing and finance our own debt through just purchases and repurchases of bonds that were ultimately worth nothing, that you owe money for taking money out. Like, it's so fucking stupid. 
But he wanted he wanted that. There it is. Lady Trump still won. Uh, President Trump on Wednesday said he still strongly believes the Federal Reserve should have negative interest rates, but gave a modicum of approval to Fed Chair Powell, who said earlier in the day the central bank would not lower rates beyond zero. That Trump said Powell, whom he frequently criticizes, has improved in his performance as the Fed's head, but he still disagrees with Powell when it comes to lending rate set by the central bank. I feel strongly we should have negative rates. The chairman, he's my MIP over the last few months. He's done a very good job. Most improved player. What do you think? MIP. Yes, he was handing out participation trophies. I was right about everything. Thank you. Also, send money. Click the little thing. Because it's really, a, these. all these videos are about that. They're about send money to this shit. Again. Okay. God damn. It's just a, okay. So there's only three more left. We can get through them. They're only a minute long. Um, no, there's two more. We did, we did this one already. So there's two more. Here we go. We must support the innocent Jan 6 prisoners. Well, that's easy. There aren't any. I mean, they're presumed innocent, but they fucking aren't because they filmed themselves. Patriotic Americans are being prosecuted for peacefully protesting a nope. stolen election. Nope. No. Nobody who was at home going, this was ripped off. Anywhere, none of them had a problem. It was it was that threshold of the Capitol part. It was even they are not even going after people who were who stayed largely on the steps, even though they beat up cops to get there. Let them go. Let my maggots go. <laughs> when maggots were in Pelosi land, let my maggots go. <laughs> They were convicted or are awaiting trial based on a giant lie. Um, n n no, they were, they were convicted because of their actions. A radical left con job. A radical left con job. Thank you to Tucker Carlson and Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy for what you both have done. Yes, what you both have done, which is set... All of us up for a real disappointment once again. New video footage is irrefutable. Hmm. I refuted it. Did a damn good job, if I do say so myself. Absolutely irrefutable. Oh, not partially irrefutable? Is there midfutable? Thank you very much. We have to fight for our country. And we have to fight like we've never fought before. Well, I, I, <laughs> I would steer clear of that kind of language because the last time you talked like that, a bunch of assholes ended up in jail and they're going to fucking stay there. Our country is great, but it's in tremendous trouble. We're mm. a nation in decline. We have to you can't, we've already seen that video. You can't just jump right in. To stop being called a nation in decline. We have to stop being, well, then here's, uh, well, I think all, all of the, you know, it all starts at home. So why don't you stop calling the country a nation in decline and everybody else will follow? What do you think? I mean, obviously, what the shit? Listen to this again. To Tucker Carlson and Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, for what you both have done. New video footage is irrefutable. Absolutely irrefutable. Thank you very much. We have to fight for our country, and we have to fight like we've never fought before. Our country is great, but it's in tremendous trouble. We're Some people might say it's in decline. We're a nation. But we have to stop. In, in decline. Oh, okay. There you go again. I think I found the... Guys, I think I found out who the, who the asshole is who keeps saying it so we can... I guess we're going to have to fight like we've never fought before to stop this asshole saying that we're a nation in decline. We have to stop being called a nation in decline. Jesus Christ, I'm not, this isn't, back this up. To Tucker Carlson and Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy for right. what you both have done. Listen to this in a run, this is weird. This is like, why would you post a brain fart like this? New video footage is irrefutable. Absolutely irrefutable. Thank you very much. We have to Welcome. fight for our country, mm. and we have to fight like we've never fought before. Our country is great, but it's in tremendous trouble. We're mm. a nation in decline. We have to stop being called 
a nation in decline. They're laughing at us all over the world. We're not going to let that happen any longer. Thank you. Um, first of all, I, okay, this is, he's been making a bunch of these, so he's just, he's just doing part of the earlier video in this part. That's why he said that part again. Like, he recorded that video, and he's just riffing at this point. S secondly, I think the thank you was meant to Tucker Carlson and Kevin McCarthy, but it sounded like the thank you where he's supposed to end, and then he just kept rolling with it. Yeah. And then... Being called a nation in decline. They're laughing at us all over the world. And by us, I mean you. I don't mean me. I mean, when I say... We are being laughed at. I don't mean me are being laughed at. I'm you am being laughed at. You and Eric, largely. We're not going to let that happen any longer. Thank How are you going to stop it? What does that even mean? Junior does this shit all the time, too. We've got to stop it. We've got to stop it. Okay, how? If they're laughing at us, then they, they're just going to keep going. Until, I suppose, you, you become president, and that's the idea that they'll stop laughing. I think they're laughing at us because... People still think you statistically have a shot, and that's fucking embarrassing. All right, last one. <whistles> Minute 21 seconds. I think we can make it, and then I got to take a break. I got I need. I got to get some food in my kid and myself, and we got to do this, and it's Friday night in America. Um, Agenda 47. This is the one that he's, he uses Agenda 47, by the way. Um, this is going to be his way of pushing it back against people who say that he faked this campaign just to raise money off of people when he bows out because he's sick. But here we go. Um, the importance of this is, uh, Biden has been a disaster for the economy. Here we go. Ooh, this, and, and and most, by the way, sorry, the agenda 47 Joe Biden ones, has been a sorry, the agenda 47 ones, um, uh, have a, a pretty snazzy graphic. The rest of them are just little truths that he puts disaster out. Disaster for the economy. Uh huh. Between his massive tax hikes, his anti-energy crusade and his. He does know about the Willow Project, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Trillions of dollars in wasteful spending. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, person who uh, literally is responsible for a third of the national debts as well. Biden caused the highest inflation in almost half a century. Mm, COVID did, but I mean, what's the difference? COVID disease has been around for a long time. Biden's been around for a long time. They're both old. Sure. As a result, interest rates soared to crushing levels. They, uh, by their own, by them, so, oh, I see, because the Fed had to do this to compensate, and so the Fed shouldn't have done this. The Fed should have left interest rates low. So if you were president and inflation had gone up because of COVID, your response would have been to keep uh, inflation, the, the Fed low by how? Because you can't order the Fed around. By yelling? And now we are seeing bank failures that nobody believed even possible just two years ago. Um, actually, during COVID, two years ago, I think a lot of people thought bank failures were possible. Businesses were failing. Why wouldn't regional banks? Joe Biden is leading us toward a Great Depression. I've been saying it for a long time. Yeah, I know. It's. Uh, I wish it would get here already because you have to, at a certain point, you've been, you're, you're saying it for such a long time. It's like we're halfway through his fucking first term and I... I, I was I th I was hoping it would be here sooner because you're starting to sound like an asshole. I don't know. There should be no bailouts, but we need to get this economy straightened out as fast as possible. Okay, and how do you do that? No bailouts. Okay, done. Check. That's what's happening. We're headed down a very dangerous path. Yes, we are. We're headed t towards what's what's the dangerous path? Not not backfilling depositors or by doing it? Which one, what's a bailout and what's not a bailout? I, I mean, you know more than the accountants, so, except, of course, the ones that are going to jail in your stead. When I'm back in the White House, I will, <laughs> mm -hmm. will immediately unleash energy production slash regulations like I did just three years ago. You mean the ones that caused the banking crisis we're in right now? And repeal Biden's tax hikes to get inflation down as fast as possible. If, all right. If, if you believe inflation is caused by too much money in circulation, a tax cut would result in 
more money being in circulation. That's money that is not taken in by the federal government that is back in the consumer's hands and therefore they would spend it on stuff which would add to inflation. Now, the inflation we're experiencing is not caused by, it's not monetary inflation, it's not caused by an influx of cash in the market, but you'd see where Possible, I'm going. And it will go quickly so that interest rates can get back under control. I built the greatest economy in the history of the world. In no. fact, I did it twice when you think about it. No, you didn't. And now we will have to do it again. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, if it was the greatest economy, how come it didn't last? I'm beginning to think that there's something wrong with, how do I put this? Your fundamentals. I'm beginning to think that the foundation of your wealth and your worth is, uh, is mostly puffery, mythology, bullshit, if you will. I'm starting to think that everything you create collapses in short order because it's just a facade. And you create these facades because it's what you've been doing your whole life. And you surround yourself with people who like a big glitzy facade and don't really care to kick the tires because they're afraid of, of finding out something they don't want to know. And you've built a functional structure in New York and other places, you know, bullshit towns where you can get away with that stuff on the backs of other people and, and by lying to banks or getting artificial support from people who expect you to be a chaos agent or to, you know, shit a hole in their genuine competition, investors who might be into real estate and other stuff, but that the Russians or the Chinese or other people don't want to compete with on the international stage. So they make sure you get a building that this person might be vying for that's profitable. And you're not going to make anywhere near the profit that this building is expected to make because you're, you're a shithead. But those people might have, and they might've taken that profit and become even more of a competitor against our, you know, the other, you know, storied foreign interests and corporations. And so they would rather you have it than somebody capable. So they've helped you out over the years. And at that point, they have a little bit of a snare on you, a little bit of a tug. They got the hook in your cheek and they can they can make you dance if they want to. So um, I'm uh, looking back. Uh, I'm just going to say that if you built the greatest economy, it could withstand the minor shifts we've been through in terms of a shuffle of supply chain and bird flu, one would think. If you build, wouldn't the greatest economy in the world be able to withstand Russia attacking Ukraine? Now it has, but not because you built it that way, because it's structurally that sound and that big. Hmm. Yeah. And that's it. That's the end. Whew. We made it through them. That was almost, that felt almost as heavy as one of the fucking rallies getting through it. Even though they were little snippets, they were all just, ugh. <laughs>